Hi everyone and welcome to Artful Action. I'm here to lead you through a yoga flow today about putting your intention into motion. So Happy New Year. It's New Year's Day. And what I think is awesome about New Year's is that it makes people start to make goals and um, intentions to better themselves. But where it gets kind of sticky is when we promise ourselves to make a resolution that is linked to something negative. So saying, I need to lose 10 pounds, or I have to get this promotion, or I won't be happy. Um, it kind of becomes an obligation and it limits us to um, experience our full potential. So instead, if you did the exercise at home, um, you know that we're working more with affirmations today um, and intentions of planting a seed in order for it to grow and also backing off a little bit of anything to restricting. So that's what we'll be doing today is just setting an intention and flowing through with continuous movement. So go ahead and close your eyes, please. Take a few deep breaths. Imagine the breath moving down towards the pelvis, allow, allow it to widen and warm. And as you exhale, squeeze the breath out through the mouth. Pull the navel up towards the spine. Inhale here, fill your belly, flare and expand the ribs. Breathe all the way up towards the collarbones with breath. Pause and hold in. Exhale. Again, inhale, breathe all the way down towards your pelvis, allow it to widen. And squeeze your muscles all the way up. And the breath moves out through the mouth. A few more rounds like that. This three part breath into the belly, the ribs, and chest is called Dirga breath. So belly will inflate on the inhalation, ribs flare and expand and widen, collarbones lift and broaden with breath. And as you breathe here, please set your intention for your practice this morning, so or afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And it can be something for just this practice or maybe something moving forward into the whole rest of the year. But try to keep it something broader, an affirmation. Like, I am enough or I have everything I need I have a healthy body that moves and on your next breath in reach your arms all the way up over your head interlace your fingers stretch your palms up towards the sky you'll root down through both sides of your hips and take a side bend over towards the left so press the hands away fan the ribs out toward the right ribs out towards the side Inhale, come back to center, and exhale over to the opposite direction. Both hips stay rooted. Breath is soft and fluid. And then come all the way back up with your hands. Bring them down towards the ground. We'll come into a tabletop position, please. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. A couple rounds of regular cat and cow here. So as you inhale, drop the belly, look up, lift the tail. And as you exhale, round into the upper back. Drop your chin towards your chest. Try to separate the shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly. Look up, lift the heart. And exhale, round into the upper back, navel towards the spine. And one more time. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. And come back to neutral. Reach your right arm out in front of you like you want to shake someone's hand. And reach your left leg back behind you. Flex the toes so you're dialing the left hip down. Press out through the sole of the left foot and reach wrist and ankle apart. As you exhale, you'll squeeze your elbow in towards your knee. So exhale, elbow knee tap, round through the upper back. Inhale, reach out and lift. Kind of like cobra pose in your tabletop. Exhale, elbow and knee together. Inhale, reach out and lift. One more time like that on this side, exhale, tap. Inhale to reach it out, and from here, bring your right hand down towards the ground, bring your left knee out towards the side. So you're in fire hydrant position. Stay heavy through both hands. Try to lift the left knee up a little higher, so there's a 90 degree angle from your left thigh to your left shin bone. Drop the left hip, lift the left knee, and then straighten your left leg all the way out towards the side. So your, the arch of your foot is in line with the right kneecap. Walk your hands in and bring them towards your hips. Good, take a breath here, stabilize, and a breath out. 
On your next inhalation, sweep your arms up over your head and then trickle your left fingertips down the left leg and reach up and over, side bend in your gate pose. Try to lift the left lungs and stretch out through the right side. We have some dogs barking here. And then come all the way back up to center. Bring your hands down towards your heart. Hinge at the hips, plant your hands down. Okay. Left leg goes all the way back behind you. Lift the heart and left knee meets right at the back of your mat. Sway the hips from side to side. And then extend your right leg long. Extend your left leg long. Lift first. Squeeze or left arm long, right leg long. Squeeze into the outer right tricep and tap your elbow in towards your knee. Empty the air. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze in and tap. Inhale, stretch long. One more time like that to squeeze in and tap. Extend, bring your left hand down, bend your right knee out towards your right shoulder and up so the thigh bone's parallel with the ground. Your shin and your thigh are making a square, a 90 degree angle. Lift it up as high as you can and then extend your right leg off towards the side. So you wanna find your foundation first, whatever's touching the ground is the most important. So top of the left knee, top of the left shin, outer edge of right foot. Bring your hands towards your hips, engage through the core just to rise. Inhale your arms up over your head. Exhale, right fingertips down the right leg. Lift your left arm up and over. So I like the gaze to be down here. That feels better on my neck. If you wanna lift the gaze up, you can, but somewhere where you feel really, really stable. See if you can soften the inner body muscles as you breathe, the inner body organs. And then come all the way back up with your hands. Hands come down towards your heart and plant back down on the floor. Sweep your right leg back behind you. Lift your gaze a little bit. And then bring your right knee down towards the ground. Back to that sway from side to side with your hips. Okay. So curl your toes under. Press through the hands. Lift your hips up high to come into your downward facing dog. So in your down dog, feet are hips distance apart. Hands are shoulder distance. Press down through your knuckles, the inner edges of your index fingers and thumbs. And everybody bend your knees just a little bit here. So when you bend your knees, you can bring the sits bones up higher and create a nice curve in the low back. And you want to keep that as you lift your armpits up so the scapula, your shoulder blades, move together on the back. Sink the heels down like you want to stretch the soles of your feet. And then come up onto your tippy toes, inhale. Send both heels over towards the right. So hands stay in downward facing dog, hips stay high like downward facing dog. Bring your heels back to center, both heels over towards the left, press down through your right hand. And come on up with both heels to the center line. Come up onto tippy toes, look in between your hands and just tippy toe while keeping your arms straight to the top of your mat. So press, press, press down through your hands. You might have to pop up onto finger pads. And when you get to the top of your mat, please bend your knees and fold. Grab opposite elbows. You can sway from side to side. Bring the weight of your hips over the heel. So you start to come forward into the balls of your feet. So you can ground through all four corners. Stay light in the toes. Let your head be really heavy here. And then bend your knees a lot, inhale. With a flat back, rise all the way up to stand. Press your hands together and bring them down towards your heart. Just noticing here what's coming up already. Noticing how your intention or your affirmation is a thread through your practice. And honoring the fact that there's nobility in your effort. We're just showing up. We're just working towards your goals with any steps, however small, they're actually huge strides. So reach your arms up over your head again, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees in forward folds. Heel toe your feet out so they're as wide as your mat and you'll bend your knees to come in into Malasana, your yogi squat. Bring your hands at your heart, triceps move towards the inner knees and just press out gently through the inner knees to lift the chest. You can sway from side to side here and make little circles. This will just get into your hips. It's really good for travel um, or the holiday season when there's extra vata energy in Ayurveda, so extra air and ether energy stuck in the body. So if you're someplace cold, um, you might notice some more popping and cracking than usual in the joints. So just giving an extra moment or two to lubricate there through the joints to stimulate synovial fluid to wash in so we can move more freely. 
And once again, press the elbows out, come to stillness in your malasana, lift the chest, and then bring your hands down towards the ground. Straighten your legs back out, heel toe the feet in so they're hips distance apart. Hands towards your shins, halfway lift. So crown of the head moves forward, tailbone presses back. Shoulder blades move together. Lengthen through the sides of your waist. Bend your knees, pour yourself back down. So I like to bend my knees all the time in my forward fold. It brings the stretch more into the belly of the muscle instead of the backs of the joints. And then press through your heels, sweep all the way up to stand again. This time grab onto your left wrist, pull up and over towards the right to get a nice side opening on your left. Try to make space on the right side too, so it's easy to compress there. We want to press evenly through both sides of your heels, both feet to lift and back to center over towards the opposite side. So it's like you're going over a giant beach ball. And then come back to center, bend your knees, fold it all the way down. So we'll move into our continuous flow now. It'll be a ladder flow where we're adding on. So right foot stays forward, step your left foot back towards the back of your mat. Right knee stays over ankle for now. So it's tracking into a square. And then round through your upper back like cat, like cat pose. So round, press through the finger pads, chin towards chest. And then drop your belly down to the inside of the right knee. Look out over the bridge of the nose. Once more like that, exhale to round like cat, cat pose in your lunge and inhale to drop the belly, look up. And from here, drop your left knee down, bring your hands to the top of your right thigh and press the ribs and navel back away from the thigh. So you're in your Anjane Asana. I like to keep my back toes tucked under, so you might try that too. Reach your arms up over your head here. Get tall through the sides of the waist. You can turn the pinkies in and lift through the heart just a bit. Exhale, bring your hands down towards the ground, straighten your right leg out. So half Hanuman or runner's lunge, flex the right toes towards you, pull your right heel back towards the left knee. So it's moving without moving, an isometric movement, like you want to scrunch up the center of your mat. And you always want to hinge from the hips and not the spine, so you're not rounding to get there, but really move forward through the heart space. And then bend your right knee, place the right foot flat, walk your fingertips forward. Lift your back kneecap. Step in with the left foot a little, and then lift the left leg all the way up into the air, standing splits. You can bend your right knee here to get the leverage to lift the left leg up higher. Dial the left hip down so the hips remain square. Drop your head down so there's no holding or tension in the neck. Lift the left leg up a little bit more. As you exhale, left foot meets right at the top of your mat. Bend your knees, forward fold, and just notice the difference in both sides of the body here. Take a few rounds of breath. Integrate all your inner organs into your breathing. Integrate your intention into each breath. Hands to your shins, lift up halfway. Inhale. Bend your knees, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up to stand once again. And grab onto your left wrist, side bend over towards the right. Back to center, grab your right wrist, side bend over towards the left, look down. Inhale, come on back up, bend your knees, forward fold to the floor. Keep your left foot where it is. It's big step back with your right foot. So you're in your low lunge, left knee over ankle, round through the upper back like cat, cat's pose, cat pose. <laughs> drop your chin, drop your heart, lift your gaze. One more time like that, exhale, round through just the upper back, navel towards the spine, and then inhale, drop the belly, look up, bring your right knee down, hands to the top of your thigh, press it away, squeeze the inner thighs in towards each other to stabilize and reach your arms up into the air. Anjaneyasana, pinkies can dial in and lift through the back of your heart space, and exhale, hands down towards the ground, straighten your left leg out, heart moves forward towards the toes. So again, like you wanna scrunch up your mat, left heel, Towards right knee. So we move a little slower on this first side just to know the movements and what we'll be adding on to. So bend your knee, place the sole of the left foot flat, pick up your back knee, step it in, and launch it all the way up into the air. Standing splits. Remember, a bent front knee means you can get the leverage to lift that top leg up. And then right foot meets left at the top of your mat, forward fold. This time reach your arms back behind you, interlace your fingers if you can, if it's okay for your shoulders, and stretch your fist up and over your head. Chin stays down. Good. 
and then bend your knees again under your hands inhale rise all the way up side bend again this time interlace all your fingers except for your index finger and your thumb lift up through the navel and exhale side bend over towards your right fan the left ribs out make space underneath the right side too to decompress inhale back to center exhale over towards the opposite side inhale come on back bend your knees fold it down so remember if anything i say doesn't feel good you can modify you can stay in a forward fold or rest in child's pose part of being fluid with your intention is knowing when to back off a bit and when to go deeper so right foot stays where it is left foot steps all the way back towards the back of your mat stay on your finger pads round through the upper back inhale drop your chest lift your gaze Drop your back knee down, so just once like that this time. Inhale, arms come up, Anjaneyasana. Lean it back like you're lifting through the back of your heart space. And exhale, hands come down, straighten your right leg out. Toes come back towards you, heart moves forward towards the toes. And then please bend your right knee, place the foot flat. Left hand staying down this time, keep it down. Left knee up, twist towards your bent knee. So big open twist. If you need more space here in the hips, you can walk your right foot over towards the right side of your mat and roll it open. Shoulders are stacking, but you're reaching up. Uh, like I want to pick a mango off of this tree right now. I'm not in season, but imaginative. And then from here, spin onto the outer edges of your feet and reach your right hand back towards your left toes. Behind you, you'll get an IT band stretch, a little back bend, a big hip opener and a twist. So come back now with your right hand to the outside of your right foot. Step in with the left leg, launch it all the way up into the air. Standing splits, chin towards knee, and left foot meets right at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, reach your arms to shoulder height. Plug the shoulder heads back into the sockets. Plug your thigh bones back in towards the sockets. So you're packing the joint here into the groin. Inhale, press through your heels, stand up tall, interlace your fingers, side bend over towards your right. So pointer and point, so thumb and index finger are free. And then right hand comes down the right leg, go a little bit deeper over towards the right side. Inhale, come back up, exhale over towards the left. Left hand comes down, stretch like you want to pick something up off of the floor. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, forward fold it all the way down. Left foot stays where it is. Step your right foot way back, low lunge, round through the upper back cat pose. Inhale, drop your chest to the inside of the right knee. Place your right knee down, inside of the left knee. Place your right knee down. Inhale, arms come up, lean it back and open. And then exhale, hands come down, straighten your left leg out. Okay, heart goes forward towards the toes. And then bend back into your left knee, place the right hand down, pick up the right knee, and twist towards your bent knee. Okay, so lift the right side of your lung. So right lung comes on up. And then twist onto the out outer edges of your feet. Left hand's going to go all the way over towards the right. The right hip can drop down a bit, you can lean it back. Please breathe. And then come back to the ball of the right foot. Left foot comes down. Step in and launch your right leg high. Standing splits, chin towards chest. Right foot comes down. Bend your knees. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, pull your navel back towards your spine. Forward fold and heel toe the feet out as wide as your mat. You'll come back into your yogi squat like we did before. Lift your arms up, please. Bring your thumbs in and your forefingers around your thumbs. Press down through the heels. One big push. Stand up tall. And exhale, elbows come in. Bend your knees. Come back into your squat. Inhale, press through your feet and stand. Exhale, elbows in. Come down to your little squat. One more. Inhale. All the way up and exhale all the way back down. Hands come to the inside of your knees again. Elbows come to the inside of the knees. Lift your heart. Plant your hands. Heel toe the feet back in. Plant the hands firmly down and step into your high plank pose. So right foot back and then left foot. Hands stay underneath the shoulders. Come onto your tippy toes. Knees down first. Bend your elbows lower, chest and chin, all the way down towards the ground. Drop your pelvis down flat. Inhale, rise up with the heart. 
So elbows stay way bent, press down through the tops of your feet, and then exhale to lower. Inhale to rise again, rolling cobra. Inhale, come on up. And exhale, come down. One more time, wider hands. So bring your hands wider than your mat onto tented fingertips. Inhale, come on up. Lift your belly off of the ground, the ribs. And exhale, all the way down. Hands under your shoulders. Come through your knees, curl your toes. Hands walk forward. Lift your hips into downward facing dog. In your down dog, press back through the shin bones, press back through the thigh bones. Lift your underarms up. Drop your head, set your drishti someplace in the center of your mat or back behind your heels to open up through the back of the neck. And we'll do this two more times adding on. So we'll come into it from down dog this time. Reach your right leg up high. Bend the left knee a little bit to get more lift through the right leg. And then bend your knees, stack your hips open. So right foot comes over towards the left butt cheek. Wrap the outer right shoulder down to square off the arms. Inhale here. Exhale. Another breath in. And then straighten your right leg out. Look in between your hands. Squeeze your knee in towards your nose like you want to kiss it. And then gently slide your foot in between your hands. Round through the upper back like cat pose. Inhale, drop your chest down to the inside of your thigh. Place your back knee down, reach your arms up. We'll add a side bend on here. So grab onto your left wrist with your right hand. Side bend over towards your bent right knee. Inhale, arms come back up and separate. Hands come down towards the ground. Straighten your right leg out. Inhale. One out breath here. Exhale. Bend your right knee. Keep the left hand down. Twist open towards your bent right knee. Spin onto the outer edges of your feet and sweep your right hand back towards your left toes behind you. You can stay or walk your right foot back halfway and come into a modified side plank, Vashistasana, or right foot comes all the way back. Whoop, lost my recorder here. Right foot comes all the way back to meet your left, Vashistasana, side plank. Inhale here. Exhale, empty. Bring your right hand back down. Bring your right leg up into the air in your downward facing dog. And step your right foot to the outside of your right pinky. Okay, so both hands are on the inside of your right foot. And just make some circles here on the ball of your left foot. Make some circles. Popping and cracking again, that vata energy. Built up tension or stress in the body. We're just going to roll it out. This is a prep for lizard. We'll go in next round. Okay, so keep the hands planted down now. Step your left foot all the way up to meet your right at the top of your mat. Hands to your heart, back into your yogi squat, malasana. Press down through your feet. Reach your arms up. Thumbs in, four fingers around the thumb. Press through the heels and stand up. Inhale. Exhale, down towards your squat again. Two more. Inhale, press and rise. Exhale, elbows in. Come on down. Last one like that. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, all the way back down. Plant your hands, heel toe the feet in. Hips distance apart. Bend your knees, forward fold. Halfway lift. Elongate your spine and realign. And then exhale, forward fold. Drop your chin towards your chest. Step one foot back and then the other. Come into your high plank pose. Come onto your tippy toes, knees, chest, chin, or if you'd like to do a chaturanga, bend your elbows, keep the elbows over the wrists and sweep it through for an upward facing dog. Press down through the tops of your feet. Drag your hips towards your hands and press back through the shoulders so the heart can burst through. Curl your toes, lift your hips, send it back, downward facing dog, and please take a few rounds of breath here. You can catch your breath, bring your heels from side to side with bent knees. Shake your head yes and no. Okay, so left side now, lift your left leg up. Bend the right knee, lift the left leg even higher. Bend your knees, stack your hips open. So a can opener twist in your downward facing dog. And then square the hips back off, lift your left leg and squeeze your knee in towards your nose. Empty, 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 squeeze. 
and left foot comes between the hands. Bring your back knee down, flat here, and rise back up to your Anjane Asana. Okay, grab onto your right wrist, bend up and over towards the left. You're bending towards your bent left knee. Good. Inhale, come back to center, plant your hands down, lift your back kneecap, round through the upper back. Drop your chest down to the inside of the thigh, cow pose in your lunge. Back knee plants again, left leg, straighten it, bring your heart towards your toes. Bend into the left knee, keep your right hand down, lift your left arm up and twist. Pick up your back knee if it's not already, and spin onto the outer edges of your feet. Stretch your left hand back towards your right toes behind you. You can walk the right hand forward a bit. Come forward, come back with your left foot halfway for your Vashistasana, your side plank, or all the way. Left foot can come back. Reach up through the hips, up through the finger pads. Roll the left hip crease on top of the right. Take a deep breath in. And then bring your left hand down towards the ground. Left leg goes up into the air and slide it to the outside of your left pinky. So lizard prep on this side. Roll on the ball of the back foot. And you can acknowledge the differences in both sides of the body here. You might come back to your intention or your affirmation once again, knowing that we can throw away the list of a million things and focus on the bigger picture. Bring your right foot forward to meet your left at the top of your mat. Hands pressed together, push the legs away. Stay here and breathe. Then walk your left fingertips out towards the side and reach your right arm open for a twist in your malasana. And come back to center, palms press, heart lifts. And walk your right fingertips out towards the side, left arm goes up and open. Gaze can be down towards your right hand or up towards the left. Come on back to center, lift your heart, plant your hands, heel toe the feet in, stand up with a flat back all the way to rise, arms come up, interlace your fingers, side bend over towards your right, right hand comes down the right leg, stretch up and open, inhale to come back, interlace your fingers the other way, go over towards your left, left hand down the left leg, and all the way back up, interlace all, of your fingers now. Press the palms up towards the sky and then release to open the arms into cactus. Press the elbows back. Bring them together. Round in. Inhale. Open up. Exhale. Bring them together. Round in. Bend your knees. Come all the way down towards your fold. Step your left foot back and then your right high plank pose. Press through your hands. Come onto tippy toes, knees, chest, chin or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, press down through your feet. Curl your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog, send it back. Pull the front of the low back spine in and up, lengthen the sides of the waist. Lift your left leg up high. Bend your knees, stack it open. Inhale, extend. And exhale, step it through. Okay, so we're doing the this one last round, starting with the left side this time. Round through the upper back. Drop your chest down, lift the gaze. Bring your back knee down flat and inhale, rise. Anjane, take your side bend towards your left knee. Grab onto your right wrist. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands come down towards the ground. Straighten your left leg out. Exhale, bend your knee. Plant the left knee right over the ankle. Lift your left arm up. Lift your right kneecap up off of the ground. Take your twist. Spin onto the outer edges of your feet and left hand moves back towards the right toes behind you. Stay or left foot comes back halfway or all the way back. This time you might pick up the left leg. This is a good place to stay or this or bend your left knee. Place it behind the right leg and lift up your chest into wild thing. Lift your right lung. Drop your head. And come on back to your three-legged dog. Left leg comes up into the air. Left leg steps. Left foot steps to the outside of the left pinky. And now we'll come all the way down for our lizard pose. So right knee down flat. 
You can stay like this with your hands or come all the way down onto forearms. So wherever you are, you might notice you have to take your whole left foot towards the left side of your mat more. Try not to round through the upper back like this, but iron it out and the heart goes forward. You can traction back on your elbows a bit to get there. Be here for a few rounds of breath. When we can recognize a broader idea and then articulate these baby steps to get there, we are already making huge leaps towards our goals. And when we can move with intention and put those that energy into action, we're making a difference for ourselves already. A few more rounds of breath here on the side. And then press through the hands to come back up. So you're staying with your legs like this in your lizard lunge. Now, if you can, bend your right knee and bring the right heel in towards your bottom. This is a good place to stay. You should feel a quad stretch in the front of the right thigh here. Or bring your left arm back and try to find your foot. So you can get the outer edge or the inside edge and just press back to open the heart. You're gonna press the foot into the hand. You can even come onto the outer edge of your left foot and lean into the right tricep. The more you press the right hip towards the floor, the bigger opening you'll get here in the hip, in the, in the quad. So drop your foot down towards the ground gently. Lift your left arm back up. Bring your left foot forward. Pick up your back knee and wiggle the left foot in towards the center line of your mat. Reach your right leg up into the air, standing splits. And drop your left foot down to meet your right at the top of your mat to fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, long spine. Exhale, bow it down, chin towards your chest. Inhale to rise. Cactus your arms. Press the elbows back. And then bring your right arm under your left for eagle arms, palms touching, or the backs of the hands. Lift your elbows up, press your forearms away. Squeeze the arms in towards each other. Make some circles here with your elbows to open up the back body. Circle the opposite way. Unwind and lift up through the arms. And when you come back to center, cross left elbow under right. Press your forms away and up and circle here. Just a gentle massage for the shoulders in both directions. And then let go, reach your arms up, cactus them, lean it back and open. Bring your elbows together, forward fold. Step back into your plank pose, inhale. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, exhale. Inhale for upward facing dog. Curl your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog, press through the hands. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Bend your knees, stack the hips open. Step your right foot forward towards the front of your space. Bring your left knee down. Inhale to rise, Anjaneyasana. Grab your left wrist, send it over towards the right. Squeeze your inner thighs in. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands come down towards the ground. Straighten your right leg out. Heart moves forward towards the front of your space. Take a few breaths. And then bend into your right knee. Keep the right knee over the ankle. Left hand comes down. Reach your right arm up and twist. Spin onto the outer edges of your feet. Reach your right hand back towards your left toes. It's raining a little bit now here. <laughs> step your right foot halfway back. And then step all the way into a plank or stay as you are. Okay. Lift up your hips. Roll the right hip crest back. Spark your top fingers. Stay. Or lift your right leg. Bend into the knee. Place the ball of the right foot behind you. Open up. Bring your right hand back down, lift your right leg up into the air, and step your right foot over towards the top of your mat. Okay, so right foot comes to the outer edge of your mat. We'll find our lizard lunge here. Okay. 
take one or two more breaths here and you're lizard. Iron out your spine, bring your heart forward towards the front of your mat. And then when you're ready, come up onto one hand first, then the other. Bend your left heel in towards your bottom. Take your right hand and sweep it back towards your toes. Grab onto the front of your left foot if you can. So reaching back like this is just as good. You still get a great quad stretch. Otherwise, lean back into your left hand, send the right knee away, stay on the outer edge of your right foot, and you can look back towards your right hand behind you, your left toes, or keep the gaze down on the ground. Take another breath in and a breath out. One more time like that, inhale, fill the belly, flare and expand the ribs, flood the collarbones with breath and gently place down your left foot, bring your right hand back down. Lift up your left knee. Walk your right foot in towards the center line of your mat, step your left foot in and left leg goes up into the air, standing splits, drop your chin down towards your chest. And left foot all the way down to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees and fold, step your left foot back and then your right high plank pose, one last vinyasa, so knees, chest and chin or chaturanga down. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Stretch back through your heels, your calves, your ankles and then shift forward and bring your knees down towards the ground. Stand up on your knees here. You know, bring your hands to your low back, squeeze the elbows in towards each other, press your hips forward a little bit, and then lean back. So the whole, it's breezy too, <laughs> the whole, all of your inner body muscles are going to come back with you. So hips move forward towards the front of your space, the elbows move in, head rocks back, pull the low belly muscles back, inhale, and exhale. And then press down through your knees to come all the way back up, shoulders over the hips, and sit back, hips towards heels. So we'll move through camel flowing a couple times. So we'll bring one hand towards the right heel. So right hand towards the right heel, left arm up into the air. Press through your knees to lift the heart up and open. And then exhale, hips are gonna go down. So we'll, we'll flow like that, right hand to right knee, left arm up, inhale, heart open, left fingertips back. Exhale, sweep your left hand around towards the left leg. Inhale, right arm up, left lung up. Exhale, down. Inhale, switch arms and lift to blossom open. Exhale, left hand down and sweep it across. Inhale, exhale, lower. Okay, one more time each side, inhale up. Exhale, lower, inhale, right arm, and exhale it all the way down. Come back into your tabletop position. Bring your knees wide, bring your big toes to touch, and send your hips back towards your heels for a well-deserved child pose. You can rest your chin down towards the mat or the top of your head. Now just stay lifted so you can hear me. You can rock from side to side if it feels better to bring your hands back towards your heels. You can do that and just completely rest here in your child's pose. So for many of us, maybe the intention for the new year is to practice more self-care with the affirmation of, I love myself, or I'm good enough, I deserve this time and space. So taking rest is definitely part of that for me. even when it's easy to pass it by, to pass up the opportunities to take the time. So slowly start to come back up onto hands and knees. Okay. One round of regular cat and cow here, round through the upper back. Drop your chest down, lift your gaze and your heart, and then curl the back curl lift the toes under all 10 of them and then walk your hands back towards your lap with the toes curled under so toe pose to stretch the balls of the feet to stretch the fascia in between the toes you can rock from side to side here and as you inhale reach your arms up over your head bend your left elbow reach for it with your right hand you can pull back on that whole left arm pull up on the skin of the left tricep you can stay or reach back for a bind maybe the fingertips touch they might not too, so that's totally okay. If they are touching, squeeze the forearms in, or you can grab the back of your shirt or a strap if you have one. 
and then lift your left arm back up, reach your right arm back up and switch sides. You bend into the left elbow, grab the outer skin of the left arm, pull it up, lean it back. You might come back for the bind on this side. Maybe it's closer on the side or maybe way further apart. And then undo both arms, reach them up, bring your hands down towards the ground and pad out the tops of your feet. So just a little release there for your toes. And then slide your hips to one side, bring your legs out in front of you, place your feet as wide as your mat, and then just windshield wiper knees from side to side here. Windshield wiper your knees or massaging out the glutes. Good. And then pause with your feet, hips distance apart. Bring your hands back behind you with your fingers pointing in towards your hips. And you'll come into a reverse tabletop. So press through the feet, press through the hands, lift through the chest. And then exhale it all the way back down. You can come up again the same or extend the legs long for reverse plank. Inhale to come up. If you're coming into reverse plank, try to point your toes down so they touch the floor. And then exhale, lower it all the way down. Pull the flesh out from under the sits bones. Inhale, both arms up over your head and hinge from the hips, not the spine. Heart moves forward towards your toes. Paschimottanasana, your double-legged forward fold. Heart extends, toes flex back towards you. You can squeeze up on your kneecaps so the quads engage a bit and inhale. Exhale. Let the breath out. Let your body soften. Let the lungs empty. One more time like that. Breathe in. And breathe out. And then inhale to let go of your feet and walk your hands back in. Bend into your right knee so the sole of the right foot plants flat. And you'll slide the left hip out a little bit so the left leg goes longer than the right. So your hip points are at an angle. And then sweep your left arm around your right leg. It's a loud bird. And your right arm is going to come back behind you. So like a kickstand, I like to hug the front of my thigh. And this variation with the um, angle in the hips gives you way more space to twist. So you can lean into the whole right arm and look over the back shoulder. And slowly come back to center. You'll baby cradle your right leg. So pick it up. You can put the sole of the left the right foot in the left arm and just rock from side to side there. Try to keep the body straight. So back and forth, just enough to cross your right knee over the left one. So you can put it down. You can wiggle towards the center of your mat. So the knees are really stacking. And you'll lift your arms up here one more time and exhale to fold over just your left leg. So this is half Gomukhasana, Arda. Gomukhasana, half cow face pose, hands to something so it can be the floor, your shin, your foot only if it's right there, but having your palms on the floor is just as good. It's great. It's more grounding. So take a breath or two. And then walk your hands back in, extend your right leg long, bend into your left knee and slide the right hip forward so the hips are at that diagonal angle. Right arm comes forward and around and hooks the front of your left thigh. Place your left hand back behind you and firm in through the arm and lift up through the waist. Twist over, look at your back shoulder. Take a few breaths here, the eyes may close. Try to move the right side of the belly up and over towards the left. And when you untwist, come back through center, baby cradle, left leg. So place your foot in your right bicep. You can rock from side to side. For me, this one's a little more difficult to sit up straight. So just find a variation that works for you. It doesn't need to be parallel with the ground. Just rock and get into the muscle groups in the back of your hip. And then you'll twist it all the way over so the left knee is stacking on top of the right. Like your cross-legged knees on top of each other. Flex your right toes, lift your arms up, full body breath, and exhale. Hands to something, foot, shin, ankle, floor. Breathe in here for the count of four. Pause and hold the breath in. Exhale. Pause and hold the breath out. 
take a big breath in. And everything softens with a sigh. Let go of your foot, walk the hands back in, extend your left leg long, reach your arms out to shoulder height and plug them back. You'll slowly roll towards your back, navel back towards the spine. At the part where it's gonna get a little bit shaky, I'll ask you to stay there. So pause, lift up your heels, keep the shoulders hovering off of the ground. And then come all the way down onto your backs, please. Reach your arms up over your head. Point your toes and flex them back towards you. Bend into both knees, slide the hips towards the right side of your space, and drop the knees to the left. Supine twist. Keep your shoulders heavy on the ground, so moving the hips towards the right side of your mat gives you a little bit more freedom in the low back and honors the natural curve of your spine. Let your fingers curl naturally. We'll allow the low back spine to open. Each time you breathe in, broaden the collarbones. And each time you breathe out, ground down, feel heavier. And then bring your knees back to center. Slide your hips towards the left. Drop both knees over towards the right side. Supine twist, the gaze can turn out over left elbow or left fingertips. Lengthen your front hip forward and broaden the collarbone. You might repeat your affirmation to yourself one or two more times here. I am enough. I have everything I need. I am unique independent, creative, whatever it is. When we repeat these things to ourselves, they come true, we believe them. And bring your knees back to center, please. Hips towards the center of your mat. Reach through for a happy baby. Grab the inside edges of your heels, soles of the feet up towards the sky. You can rock from side to side. You might straighten one leg all the way and then the other, maybe straighten both legs all the way out. Try to root the sacrum towards the floor and plug the thigh bones down and in. And then gently let go. Squeeze both knees in towards your chest, please. Lift your head and shoulders up off of the ground. Make yourself into a tiny little ball. See if you can sip in a bit more air, pause and hold. And when you need to breathe out, exhale. Gently rest your head down. Extend both legs long in front of you and rest your hands by your sides for your Shavasana, complete with New Year's fireworks. Let the eyes close. Let your fingers curl naturally. And relax your whole body from the inside. Relax the rhythm of breath. Relax any promises you've made to yourself and just allow yourself to be in the moment without any obligation, without any expectation of yourself to be better or different. Just allow yourself to be as you are right now, perfectly in your body.
If you can't do what you long to do, do something else. Go walk the dog. Go pick up every bit of trash on the street outside of your home. Go walk the dog again. Go bake a peach cobbler. Go paint some pebbles with brightly colored nail polish and put them in a pile. You might think this is procrastination, but with the right intention, it isn't. It's motion, and any motion whatsoever beats inertia, because inspiration will always be drawn to motion. So wave your arms around. Make something. Do something. Do anything. Call attention to yourself with some kind of creative action, and most of all, trust that if you make enough glorious commotion, inspiration will find its way home to you again. It's a quote of Elizabeth Gilbert's from her book, Big Magic. So welcome yourself back into this body. Welcome yourself to this moment. Back to your breath. Allow it to deepen. Welcome yourself back to every affirmation and aspiration you have for yourself this moment, this year. And begin to welcome some movement back as well. You can wiggle fingers and toes. You can rock your head from side to side. Roll out ankles and wrists. And when you feel ready, please bend your knees and roll over towards your right side. Rest here for just a moment. And press down through your hands. Slowly make your way up towards a comfortable seated position. Chin can drop down towards your chest. Round down through both hips. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Lift your chest. Bring your palms to heart center, Anjali Mudra. And bow your chin down towards your chest. Send yourself gratitude this morning, evening, afternoon for taking time to come to your mat and be artful and skillful in your actions. Thank you so much for taking the time to practice and share this week. Namaste.